For the vineyards in this region, we have what's called vine mealybug, and that has become pest number one. I would recommend Sutara to other growers, and I would say that Sutara has become the backbone of a program in the fight against the vine mealybug. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock. It's, it's great to be back in person. I'm here with Nathan Mercer, a postdoc with UC Berkeley. He works with Kent Dane very closely on, on uh, mealybug mm -hmm. research. He's a big pest in the grape industry. And mating disruption is, is something that uh, growers are becoming more and more interested in, uh, not only to you know increase their control of the pest, but maybe to to bring it down to levels in which they can apply more organic controls, right? Mm -hmm. And so talk today in a great panel discussion about area-wide management, and this is something that's really critical. Can you tell us about how a, a coordinated effort to with mating disruption, how that works? Thanks. So with uh, mating disruption, one of the big things is that, that it, while it does work, it only works within your field, and your pests are your neighbor's pests, and their pests are your pests. And with this mealy bug, it can easily cross over the borders. It doesn't respect them at all. So getting that main disruption into your neighbor's field as well as yours helps spread that block. And if you can keep doing that, their neighbor, your neighbor's neighbors and so on, then you get this nice big block of everybody doing mating disruption. And then once you get this whole big area that's blocked off from mealybug with mating disruption, the numbers, your trap catches are so low, you're not finding them anymore. So you can start reducing the amount you're using and just sort of concentrating that Mating disruption, whether you're using flowable, dispensers, what, whatever method you want to use, you're only doing that on the perimeter of all this whole area-wide space. And that way you're getting that nice control on the edges so there's no more coming in. You're still trapping and monitoring in the inside to make sure there's no flare-ups anywhere. And that, in the long run, will save you a lot of money because you're only doing the mating disruption in the border areas, which is a lot smaller than trying to keep high levels constantly in your own field. Right. Now, how... You know, can you paint us a scenario here with two growers, their neighbors, uh, one of them is really, you know, into organic and, and wants to, to utilize uh, the mating disruption technology, but maybe the neighbor doesn't care so much. Um, how, do you, how do you deal with this? Um, that's really hard, and that's going to come down to some personal skills between you and your neighbors. Um, one of the things, like I said, your neighbor's pests, you both share the pests. Um, and it's just trying to like convince them and show them that we can work together. We can make this cheaper for both of us in the long run if we work together. And with, with farmers, money is very important. So if that might be a good angle to go in with them. It's just, hey, in the long run, we can save money on this if we just work together, pay attention to this pest pretty hard for a few years, knock it down. And in the long run, it's just going to make our lives so much easier. And vine mealy bug is, is really, from reports, we're hearing it spreading all over California, right? Mm -hmm. In some areas of the state, it's, it's becoming even more of a problem, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's become a very big problem. Some of the more common insecticides are either getting uh, banned, there's some MRL problems, or there's some efficacy problems too. So growers are needing to look elsewhere for effective management options because they can't just rely on insecticide sprays. Now, and remind us... How significant this pest is? Why is this little teeny bug such a pest for vineyards? So they not only feed on your plant, they weaken it, they lower the yield, they lower the sugar content, but they also transmit viruses that can easily kill off your vines in your whole vineyard. If you're not paying attention, it can help contribute to sudden vine collapse, which is just decimating many vineyards right now. So it's a very important mealy bug or insect. And while, yes, one little mealy bug is not probably going to cost you too much, that one little mealy bug can also transmit the virus into your field though. So. Now lastly, what do we have to look forward to with the, the work that you and are doing in the Kent Dane Lab? One of the big things we've been focusing with mating disruption is trying to reduce it and make it uh, more affordable for growers to use because right now a lot of the la labeled rates for the dispensers, they're quite high at 200 to 250 dispensers per acre and that depending on how you're doing it, can run you about 115 bucks just for the dispensers. That's not including the time-consuming labor it takes. These things take a lot to put out. You have to go, you know, every other vine you have to put on one to the trellis. It takes a lot. So what we've been looking at is how low we can go and still get effective mating disruption. And we looked at everywhere from 150 down to 25 down to nothing, and we found that these mealybugs are quite susceptible to it. 
and that at 150 we're getting very good control with it. So we're seeing that these mealybugs at 150, which is a lot lower than the 200 or the 250, that's still very effective for controlling them. Well, good to know. We appreciate uh, your efforts and and anything that we can do to reduce this pest is, is welcome. So thank you very much. Read more about these things in American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.